facing their economic struggles, the university was dealing with their own problems, cutting 10 employees and $5.2 million out of the budget. But with encouraging signs in the national economy, faculty and staff salary are also beginning to make a positive turn. I was happy to report to them this year that we, had, we were going to go, we were going to have a 2% raise pool. And um, we believe we can do that now because we've stabilized uh, the budget. And because there are signs now that the economy is turning around and getting better. Along with the economy in a recovering state, applications and enrollment of graduate and undergraduate students are showing encouraging signs. There was a downturn in application, application slight one, but still first time in ten, after 10 years of being more every year, we had a sort of plateau. Now it's starting to turn up again. So I'm seeing that as a, a really positive indication. President Harrison also believes that renovations to older facilities to make them more energy efficient is a part of stepping in the right direction. More energy efficient, the more we can save on our energy consumption, which is much better for our environment and, oh, by the way, would help to keep tuition down. Although Harrison is optimistic, he is cautious in his planning and believes the campus is in for a long-term recovery. I'm Hayden Harrower, STN Channel 2 News. Harrison is looking to update the campus HVAC systems as well as new utilities such as dishwashers to increase efficiency. To learn more about President Harrison's Enhanced Recycling Initiative and the rest of his address, visit our website, stn2.tv.